Okay, now we will be talking about uh, behaviors or behavior of R, L, and C in an AC circuit. So we will be discussing again the three passive components, the resistor, inductor, and capacitor. So that is R, L, and C. Okay, so now we will apply those passive um, devices to an AC circuit okay so first we will discuss the resistor okay so resistor Okay, so a resistor in an AC circuit will take or takes a current that is in phase with the voltage across it. So what what do you mean by in phase? So when we say in phase, it pertains to the phasor diagram between the two quantities. So just like what we did in the previous videos. So if we are going to graph... For example, we have here our phasor. Okay, so let's just make the line a little bit straight. Okay, we have this one. So if we have this uh, graph or phasor, for example, this will be the direction of our voltage. So it is along the horizontal line. So we'll call this one as V. So if the the one present in an AC circuit is a pure resistor or an ideal resistor, so the current flowing to the circuit will be in phase, meaning it will have the same um, the same line or it will follow the same line with the voltage. So if this is the phasor for our current so it will be at the same line with your voltage and that is what you mean by in phase so that is i sub r or the current flowing in the um in the resistor so this is the uh phasor diagram for the uh for a resistor in an ac circuit so because they are in phase their phase angle so we'll say the phase angle is theta. So the phase angle, because they are in phase, they are on the same line. So it is equal to zero electrical degrees. Okay. Now, if we are going to have an ideal inductor, so ideal inductor, meaning an ideal inductor is an inductor wherein the coil of wire is purely uh, purely have its inductive property meaning the coil of wire has no resistance only inductance is present in the coil of wire that is uh, an ideal inductor so so i will write first the the description like I have around spelling on the degrees okay so the Microsoft will not also give me the correct spelling okay so we have ideal inductor takes a current that lags the voltage across it by 90 degrees so when you say lag or lags so the current is uh, behind the uh, the phasor of the current is behind the voltage by 90 electrical degrees so when you say behind so let's have that one in a graph 
Okay, so for example, this is our face or so I try my best to have this one in a straight line. Okay, so again I will draw the face or for our voltage. So this will be on a straight line. So this will be the voltage and our current because it is an ideal inductor it lags by 90 degrees okay so we'll have this one maybe this one okay so 90 degrees so lags behind so this is the value of or the phasor of our current in the inductor so i sub l under phase angle is equal to negative 90 electrical degrees or we could have this one uh, to read that one counterclockwise that is 270 electrical degrees so that is how an ideal inductor behaves when applied with a uh, AC supply okay next Let's have the last one of the passive element, and that will be the capacitor. So we just have that one so that it will, I could align. Okay, so we have ideal capacitor. So meaning the capacitor has only have pure capacitance with no resistance. So that is an ideal capacitor. So takes a current. Okay, so an ideal capacitor takes a current that leads the voltage across it by 90 electrical degrees so if we are going to grab the phase source so the term here is leads okay so let's just have the green for the for the horizontal and vertical line oops okay then we will use the red for the voltage so this is the phasor for our voltage so this will be our V then the current on the ideal capacitor leads so meaning it is um, above the um, voltage so this will be the voltage of our capacitor so this is equal to I sub C and the degrees so let's change the color so that you could distinguish the, them so this is color of this one it is violet so we'll have that one as i sub c so the phase angle between them is equal to 90 electrical degrees so that is the behavior of your resistor ideal inductor an ideal capacitor on an ac circuit okay so if those who are new with the phasor diagram so the phasor diagram is basically a, a illustration in which we could graph the the values of the voltage current or a, any other quantity as a um, arrows or as a graph so that we could we could illustrate them uh, with respect to their uh, distances or with respect to their magnitude and their um, preferences with each other so meaning this line here represents the magnitude so the longer the line the bigger the magnitude of the phasor so if you can say if you can see the 
the line of the voltage is much higher or much longer than the line of the current. So it means that the value of the voltage is higher than the value of the current. Okay. So I believe that is that is not I N but I L. Okay. Let's just make this one digibly to avoid confusion. So that is how a phasor diagram is made and illustrated. Okay?